Yo, what's going on, man? Thank y'all for joining in, man, on this new segment that I'm producing with Full Performance Athletes, man. I'm so excited to present to you guys this content, man. Today we're going to basically be covering in this first segment how to properly get your body in alignment for this 40-yard dash, man. It's, it's crucial that for athletes, man, sometimes we tend to, you know, not put ourselves in the correct angles when we're performing. So in order to get in the correct angles for this 40-yard dash, man, it's, you gotta have a step-by-step -step approach. And today I'm here to show y'all that, man. Thank y'all for tuning in with Coach Banks. Here's our first movement. We're going in with an A march to really help the athlete focus on pulling the toe up and dorsiflexion, getting good knee drive, working the hip flexes, good arm matching. Check it out. As y'all notice, I was applying force through the ground with each step while I was driving my elbows back forcefully. All right? Next, we're going into our single leg A skip. I really like that drill because it helps the athlete to really drive the knee up and apply that force in the ground while continuing to drive those elbows back. Going off the other side, same thing. Next, we're just alternating legs but keeping it with an A skip. After that, we're gonna go with a straight leg skip, really forcing the athlete to pull with that hamstring. Going with a little C-skip action. Really driving the knee up, foot touch, open up the hip. Really, really good dynamic exercise to really utilize those hips, get those hip flexes involved. Good. One on the other side. Next, get into a high knee run. Now, I'm not looking for as much of a stride or distance. I'm looking for more steps, allowing that foot placement to land right, that foot strike to land right underneath the hips, but in a violent manner. Last, we're gonna go high knee butt kick, meaning I want good knee drive, good shin angles, heel touching the butt, all right? And last but not least, we're going hamstring walks, really stretching and kind of giving that body a a little cool down from the movement. Stretch it out, get deeper into those stretches. And 
there you have it, man. That's our full performance, speed movement, and our dynamics. See you guys. So what's up, guys? Like I was saying before, man, today we're going to be covering in this segment how to properly set up in your 40-yard dash stance, all right? One of the diagnostics and tools that I use for my athletes when I'm teaching this is the PVC pipe. I love this piece of equipment because when I lay it down as a marker for my athletes to set up, it just gives me kind of like a detailed description of kind of where they are in their angles. And so when I teach them this, I, I lay the PVC pipe down as the line of emphasis, right? What I do is I have my athletes stand toe to toe to the PVC pipe, right? I have them take one step back, one step behind, one step out, and as they drop their knee to the ground, I'm looking for toe to be even with the front knee, all right? Now this gives me a perfect landmark of how they're correctly setting up for their 40 yard dead stance, all right? Next, I have them walk themselves up. All right, I want you to get wide. I want you to get long, all right? As I have them walk themselves back into their stance, key elements that I'm looking for is one, okay, when they're leaning, right? When they're leaning, are they leaning over their front hand, all right? I don't want too much weight shifted on the front leg, all right? So I want the weight evenly distributed from front to back, all right? But I want that weight on that front hand, all right? Next, I need to see a 45 degree angle on this front leg, all right? Good positive shin angle, all right? And I don't want this back leg straight up in the air. Now I know a lot of coaches at the combines and stuff are teaching this. I don't like this technique because it doesn't teach the athlete to push out horizontally. It's teaching a vertical push. So what I have my athletes do is when they get in their stance, I say find a base of support that works for you. Meaning, I don't want you too crouched, but I do want you your weight evenly distributed from front to back, all right? Next, we're gonna go rise the hips, we're gonna raise the hips, all right? As you notice, my knee is not past my elbow, all right? As my weight is evenly distributed, now, I put my hand to here, all right? I'm keeping my chin tucked, and now this is gonna allow me a perfect push, all right? So as I load, 1,001, 1,002, I'm pushing out horizontally. You didn't see a vertical push. So when you're teaching your athletes, make sure you're emphasizing that horizontal push and not putting so much back spin on that leg, on that trail, all right? Because what happens is, a lot of times the athlete makes a big, wide gate from the back, all right? When they cycle, and we really want to teach the athlete to drive the knee through, okay? So again, watch the angle of the push from when I start out. That's the angle you want to teach your athletes to push out. Thank you guys for watching.